G'day peeps, Slimy Lemon here, and welcome to my very first basic item guide for Iron Man. Now some of you may be thinking, what the heck is this about, or who needs to watch a guide on how to get basic items? But here's the thing, I won't be doing just any old items, I'll be taking you through how to acquire items that cannot be obtained by simply purchasing them from an NPC or a store around RuneScape. These items will also have a purpose, such as being for a quest or treasure trail. I came up with the idea because while progressing through my Iron Man, I found multiple items that I needed which could not be obtained easily being at the stage that I was. So I thought, why not share that info with you guys? Now this guide will cover what the item is, obviously, what it's needed for, quest, treasure trail, etc. Three methods going from hardest to easiest, easiest being the preferred method. What quests are needed, what items are needed to help you along the way, the location and how to get there, multiple tactics, and finally the bonuses in the preferred method. Alright, hopefully I haven't missed anything, so let's get into it. This first item on the guide is a mithril hatchet, requiring 21 woodcutting to use and 20 attack to wield. This item is required in the quest Animal Magnetism. Now let's discuss the methods. First method. Smithing. Requiring 51 smithing. This can be tricky because chances are you're not 51 smithing. And as a lower level Iron Man, 51 smithing is quite a big accomplishment. So, um, yeah. Second method. Drop from monsters, such as green dragons and blue dragons. There are multiple other monsters that drop this item, but you're going to need an advanced account to uh, obtain it. Monsters like black dragons or kurasks. Third and preferred method, killing tree spirits. You will need to complete a few quests. Quests needed. Now the first quest here is a free to play quest. It is Restless Ghost. Priest in Peril allows you to gain access into Canifus. Lost City is required to enter Xanarus. Fairy Tale 1, Growing Pains, allows you to move on to Fairy Tale 2, Cura Queen. Fairy Tale 2 does not need to be completed in order to use the fairy rings. You can look up any basic quest guide for this quest and they will explain to you how to gain access to the fairy rings. Items needed. You will need a Draymon Staff to enter the fairy ring. Any hatchet, food, if you're an Iron Man and at a lower level, cakes is, uh, will be a good one for you. Armor, it could be melee, melee armor or it could be range armor. A weapon, this could be a melee weapon or a range weapon or even a magic attack. Alright, these items here are optional. You can choose to bring in 10 logs and a tinderbox. I will show you later why. Um, but yeah, those are... Just keep that in mind. Location. Now, you can see on the map that I've provided here, there is a teleportation or a transportation symbol in the brown area. That is where you enter the enchanted forest. Okay. There are multiple trees around the map that can be used to attempt to cut down to bring out the tree spirits. So, yeah. So I found myself a fairy ring. This one is near Edgeville. There's the bank, you can run up here, run back down, or if you want to run from Varrock Square, you can do that as well. Run past West Bank, come up to the exchange or this little gap here, and then find your way to this fairy ring. Now, these fairy rings are located all over RuneScape, so it shouldn't be hard to, to find one. Make sure you have your Draymond staff with you, or else you're not going to be able to enter. A hatchet, and then you have your gear as well. So, I'm um, all ready to go. What I'm going to do is right click and press configure now the code we need is BKQ and this will take you to the enchanted valley or enchanted forest now when you teleport like I said you're going to be teleported into this brown area all you're going to do is make your way south past the waterfall which is actually really pretty and you will find yourself in this area just here once you've made your way into the Enchanted Valley or Enchanted Forest, get your gear on, get ready, have your hatchet just in your inventory, and what you're going to do is attempt to cut down the tree 
a tree spirit will pop up and start attacking you. Now, if you've used, if you've chosen to go range, you can hide behind one of these little plants just here and continue to range the tree spirit until they are dead. Now, unfortunately, you can't train here due to the XP amount that is gained while attacking these. So continue to attack them until you get your mithril hatchet. At some point you may have to retrieve your arrows due to not having the device yet. So in that case all you want to do is right click and press on the item you want to get. And you should just be able to run straight back without taking too much damage. Unfortunately I didn't get a an axe this time. But the chances of obtaining a mithril axe or a a rune hatchet are quite high so you can also do they do the melee method attempt to cut down and you're just gonna have to fight the tree spirit face to face not too hard moving on to the last part of the guide all I'm gonna show you is how to camp this area so you will notice there are rabbits around the area all you're going to do is simply attack these they have one HP kill the second one they drop raw rabbit meat you want to pick that up use your logs and tinder box create a fire and cook the raw rabbit meat on the fire As you can see, my HP is pretty low at the moment, so I'm going to eat these. They respawn really quick, they're back again, you can attack them again. And continue to do this until you have all your health back and you are attacking the tree spirits once again. So that's pretty much it for this video. What I want to run through is just the benefits quickly of the tree spirit method. Now when you're doing this method, First of all, you have a higher chance of obtaining a rune hatchet. Now, at a low level as an Iron Man, that's super beneficial, especially for your wood cutting, and as well as the quests that are completed throughout this method. Those fairy rings are super beneficial at a low level. Now, I've been using the fairy rings heaps lately, and all you need is your Draymond staff, which is great. Another benefit is that these tree spirits are super easy to kill while safe spotting. Now, you can go and kill green dragons for mithril hatchets. However, green dragons are only found in the wieldy, which is also a big problem as an Iron Man because you don't want to lose your items. In saying that, I guess that concludes the video. So these basic item guides, I was going to do originally three items per guide. However, with the amount of time that it's taken just to do one, I'm going to release these once a week, hopefully and it's just going to contain one item and how to get it that way i can go through a lot more thoroughly of how to get the item and a lot more details which is good if any of you are wondering i haven't put out a video in a while it's just because i've been working on this video it's taken me a while as well as i'm trying to progress my iron man account to a point where the content that i'm putting out is a lot greater than what i'm currently putting out at the moment so I'm just working on my Iron Man. I'll be back with my progress vids very soon, which is going to be good. And I'll be stoked for that and I'll be putting out better content. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe for more, please do that. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.